Repurposing existing drugs used for other health conditions is a priority in the current context of accelerated drug development against several global infectious diseases, including tuberculosis. A few years ago, serendipitously, we discovered carprofen to exhibit anti-tuberculous specific property against replicating, non-replicating, and drug-resistant clinical isolates of MTB. Though the general antibacterial activity of NSAIDs has been reported independently, the mechanisms of their antibiotic action on mycobacterium tuberculosis is still not understood fully. To this end, we have performed wholesale live assays with healthy mycobacterial cell. We exposed them to a sub-inhibitory concentration of carprofen. We found that carprofen significantly reduces the ability of mycobacteria to respond to the environment and to remove deleterious molecules. We have also also found carprofen disrupts membrane potential using various positive and negative controls. We have developed um, a mycobacterial biofilm model to test the effect of carprofen on mycobacterial biofilm. We have observed carprofen inhibiting the formation of mycobacterial biofilms when used at a sublethal concentration. Carprofen exposure resulted in distinctive changes to the patterns of aggregation of macromolecular depositions in mycobacterial biofilms. Precisely, in order to identify the endogenous target of carprofen, we have treated the TB cells with 10 times MIC of carprofen, along with other control drugs. Following four hours of drug exposure, we extracted mRNA from MTB cells, then we analyzed both RT-PCR and the entire transcriptomic data thoroughly. We found carprofen modified the expression of a larger set of genes in contrast to isoniazid. More interestingly, the MTB response to carprofen did not overlap with drug signatures generated by the first-line anti-TB drugs. In other words, none of the primary drug targets for first-line anti-TB drugs were modulated by carprofen treatment. Immediately, that reduces the likelihood of cross-resistance. Now we plan to use our own structural and molecular biology facilities at the Institute of Structural and Molecular Biology to study the potential molecular interactions between the NSAID and it potential, its prospective endogenous substrates in MTB. I'd like to thank all the past and present ISMB MRL members, our research collaborators, and funding support that we have received, particularly in a, a Global Health Challenge Research Fund. Thank you for your attention.